Our last speaker is going to help close that information loop and address the issue and value of corporate environmental stewardship, among other things. We are grateful to have Mark Zeckelin uh, make time to join us tonight. He was formerly CEO of Canopy Growth and is currently the executive chairman of startup Invert. Invert's goal is to make investment in initiatives that offset the harmful effects of greenhouse gas emissions accessible to individuals. And to accomplish that is raising capital and uh, for project and facility investment. Raising capital and accessibility, we've got a lot in common, Mark. Please welcome Mark Zeckelin. Well, <clears throat> my, my takeaway from Terry's presentation is that timing is everything. So I have to wonder how I got stuck following Terry speaking at a Canada event. Nonetheless, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I will say it's been a wonderful event. It's amazing to see so many people doing good things and working to help others. We have people protecting rivers, protecting our green space, trying to build the business sector in our neighborhood. And it is amazing to see. And you know, frankly, it serves as a reminder in these doom and gloom times that there are good people doing great things. So thank you, and it's great to be here. Speaking of good people doing good things, I really want to thank Barbara in particular uh, for the no doubt countless hours and hours she has put in towards this project. <laughs> Working really to save what is effectively a public good in our community. And unfortunately, the work you're doing is just the tip of the iceberg because as property prices rise, we are seeing more and more developers become emboldened and pursuing similar things. So truth be told, I am not a Kanata resident. I live in Nepean on a different golf course <laughs> called Cedar Hill. And unfortunately, you all know where this story is going. About a month ago, we were informed that that owner, also a developer, is bringing forward a similar court case and basically restarting the fight that we're seeing has played out here over the last couple of years. So, the work you're doing and that we're all here to support doesn't just impact this community and the businesses in Canada trying to recruit people, but it affects everybody in Ottawa. And the reality is that success here, or God forbid failure, will have broader ripple effects across the whole community, the whole city. So that is certainly one reason why I'm very happy to be here and offer my support for the cause. But the other reason, like everyone else here, is that I genuinely care about our green spaces. So firstly, I care as an Ottawa businessman and entrepreneur. So to give that context, I'll step back a little bit. I was one of the founders and ultimately CEO of, or well, co-CEO of, of a little cannabis company called Canopy Growth Corporation. So for those of you um, who know Bruce Linton, he was my co-CEO for a number of years, so you can appreciate uh, I'm a very patient person um, <laughs> and have been through so, so much. Uh, but in fact, at Canopy, we were in quite a hurry. We grew from a handful of people to thousands and thousands of people looking for diverse employees, and I cannot tell you how difficult it was to recruit the talent that we needed. And to make matters worse, we were actually home base with Smith's Falls. That's even harder to recruit. So uh, naturally, we set up shop also here in Canada, and we were able to recruit all of that great talent to come here. So I'm not saying they all accepted because they wanted to golf, but as you know, Terry has mentioned, as we'll hear about on the panel, attracting talent is a real, real issue. And I saw it firsthand, and studies show the intangibles really do matter, right? A diverse environment, diverse community, natural spaces, green spaces, all of things, these things matter. And frankly, in Ottawa, it, is, it has been and, and needs to continue to be a real differentiator versus other communities. And I say that as, as a guy who grew up in the suburbs of Toronto. So second, I care not just as an entrepreneur, but as a human being. Like, most everybody here, I think. After I left Canopy, 
I and many of the other early executives decided we wanted to focus our next chapter on the climate crisis. We founded a company, as Barbara mentioned, called Invert, which is focused on investing in projects that will reduce or remove CO2 from the atmosphere. So, for example, we recently uh, entered a funding partnership with a Halifax-based company for $30 million uh, called Carbon Cure, which essentially takes CO2, injects it into concrete so that it is permanently removed from the atmosphere and will not be, you know, uh, put back up in, in any situation. So, I think as we all know, it's probably preaching to the choir here, but, you know, as a society, we have this very limited carbon budget between now and 2050 of how much emissions we can put out and by 2050 we have to be at a place of neutrality. So for almost two years, myself and about two dozen other people have been working away at this project. We've been looking at all the different things that can be done and you know what really strikes me is, you know, and to bring it back to the topic that, that we're talking about, there are so many people working on so many things and every little bit really counts. So we are all going to have to come up with, you know, amazing fancy machines that suck up carbon from the air. We're going to plant, you know, giant forests and all these things will make a difference. But we see all these people building all these incredible things, brilliant little changes to do every little bit so that cumulatively, you know, we ultimately are all able to save the world. So bringing it back to what we're talking about, Part of winning this broader fight on climate is about winning the little fights along the way. So protecting these rivers, protecting these fields, these trees, all of these things that, for example, go along with the green space here in Canada is part of a bigger picture. So in summary, this matters for local residents, yes. Matters for local business, yes. And it matters for all of us here in Ottawa. But it also matters in its own you know, small piece of the puzzle in a much, much bigger way. So again, this is why I'm you know, very happy to be here to support this and why, you know, as Terry said, we all have to pull together and make a difference. Thank you.